Hey, what's up, everyone? Rain is back with some more Scarlet Nexus. All right, picking up where we left off, we just... Well, we didn't fight, babe. I guess it shut down, whatever you want to call it. That's pretty cool looking. Look at that over there. But uh, anyway, um, hey, make sure you hit the like button. It helps out tremendously so I can get more of these coming out. And without further ado, we're going to get into this. So let's go. Also, this is pretty cool. Like, we just... So we got it. We're going to go if... Wait, how do I get the hell out of here okay maybe i gotta go the other way anyway so i guess the idea is to use the red strings as she said to go back in time so yeah i have nowhere how what the where am i to go what's going on here oh i'm stupid i'm supposed to transport there i guess i just okay yeah All right, well, here we go. Here we go. I didn't mean to do that. This is what the beginning of the damn game, right? Where it all started first playthrough. Oh, there it is, right there. Has it gotten bigger? The Kunat Gate. Has it always been that big? It's definitely expanding, but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years. This place brings back a lot of memories. The Red Strings. I think there's a good chance this is going to work. Okay. I hope I know what it feels like. We'll give you SAS support. We should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together. There's no telling what kind of dangers there will be. So it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. All right. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability. I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So, should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear, but I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca. Though for a different reason. Yuito, if you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of course. It's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. All right, let's begin. Try to imagine it. 11 years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. It's shaking. 
The Kunag gate is reacting. Do it. Take me to mother. Kasane, we'll be waiting for you. If I had taken a wrong turn, you'll lose the honor of our family. You can't stay here. I'm sorry. You'll regret it. I'm ready. It's her. See Kasani's little cutscene, I get. Ready yet, Yuito? Not yet, mommy. <laughs> mommy is good at hide and seek, so I have to hide really well. Don't go too far. I won't. Maybe over there is good. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Where could Yuito be? This works. I'll be okay here. Mommy can't see me. I'm going to find you right away. Uh, <laughs> Mommy? Oh, am I playing as little you to you? Can I fight? Can I jump? Huh. Who is that? Oh, you're Kasane. Oh, I... Huh? One day I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother, what do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the red strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo red strings to transfer data across time to red strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. Uh, is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Huh? Oh, yes, shit. it is. As long as Yuito lives... The world will be destroyed by the Kunod Gate. Uh, death? Why? Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the Red Strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. Huh? Alright. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Well, what about Mommy? Yukio? Where are you going? Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide-and-seek. 
It's all right. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients, but this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be all right. Then we'll go to the future. I'll be all right. If that happens, Mommy will go somewhere with that lady. I don't want her to go. Okay, then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! Wait a minute. So... No, she'll find me here. But she put that on me. I'm not even gonna try to understand yet. Yuto's being an asshole and he's running away. Get to a shelter, hurry! You there, where's your mother? Isn't she here? Uh, my mommy is... Don't look! Get to the shelter, understood? You shouldn't have ran off. Yoito! Yoito! Don't move! I made it, just in time. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. Oh. You see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah Okay. Uh, okay, so that makes sense now. The the reason behind the uh, episode before, the why he had that little memory. It was her. You have to live, no matter what. Oh, that did something. Are you all right? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. Babe, right? Yuito, are you okay? Yuito, snap out of it. That's right. I remember now. It was Kasane. She's the one who saved me back then. 
Oh, right. Kasane. It's the same as the vision Babe showed us, which means... Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? Yuizo... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wow. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while. So let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither New Himuka nor Togetsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere. But then, what animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals. Or so they say. So, the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so... awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. Well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So, can't we just slack off? I mean, take a break? You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. We'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. Okay, so we're at phase 10, so... Normally I would start a video in phase 10, but that last phase was incredibly long. I was like, yeah, we gotta change things. So we're gonna do a little bonding, it looks like. Looks like we got a lot to catch up, catching up to do. But we'll get to it, let's go. All right, next bond episode and we're through. Are you all right? I didn't mean to skip that. I'm fine, and we have to hurry back to the Kunad Gate. We're going back there again? Do you know what we can do about it, Mother? Yes. We must get rid of the entanglements in the Kunad Gate, or the world will eventually be destroyed. Entanglements? What are they? We should head to the Kunad Gate before I explain it further. Okay. Then we'll go to the Kunad Highway. Everyone get ready. Mom, you can have a seat here. Thank you. You got so big. Huh? <laughs> that was sudden. You joined the OSF. How's Kaito? Are you getting along with your older brother? He's good. We don't really get along anymore. Oh. Can you tell me what's happening in your time, in the present? And that's basically it. The only other thing is the existence of the Kunad Gate. 
Thank you. Along with Babe's data, I think I understand a lot now. Are we almost ready to leave? Oh, yeah. We are. Uh, Mom? You're just like your father. Huh? No. Kaito is the one who looks like Dad. Actually, people tell me I'm not much like him. I'm not talking about your face. It's how you act. Yuido, about your father... I'm sorry I didn't tell you what he was doing. He did awful things, but it was him that saved me from Togetsu. He was kind. Oh. Kaito said he would change this country, too. He's wanted to be a politician ever since he was little. But I guess he could only take your father's path as well. Kaito did, but I... It's all right. You and Kaito are your father's and my children. I know you'll make up someday. Right. Maybe, unless I don't have to kick his ass first. All right, unravel time together. All right, so we're hitting phase 11 finally, so we are kind of cutting it into like, well, kind of overlapping a bit, but we're good, right? Things are moving fast, but I'm hoping you can tell us how to deal with the Kunad Gate. You said something about entanglements? Ultimately, Yuito and Kasane have to enter the Kunad Gate and unravel the entanglements. What I'm telling you here is just a concept. The traces interfering with time should look like tangled red threads. According to Togetsu's theory, whenever you jump through time, a dimensional hole like the Kunad Gate is created, but it should then disappear. The reason this hasn't disappeared is because Yuito and Kasane's powers resonated. The Kunad Gate is different from the theorized gates in that it's persisting in a distorted state. Using a distorted gate for a time jump creates entanglements. If you can unravel those entanglements, you can close the Kunad Gate. Interesting. So, uh, Yuto doesn't have to die. I don't really get it yet. But when you say enter the Kunad Gate, do you mean go into that hole in the sky? That strange space. Is it inside the Kunad Gate? You saw it too, when the gate first opened. Oh, that place with all the weird images? That's right. That strange space oh. that Kasami mentioned exists inside the Kunad Gate. It is a concept of space that only exists for those with the Red String's power. Togetsu called it the Kronos Terminal. Perhaps it's a kind of station or junction point for traveling through time. Hmm. So only Yuito and Kasane can perceive it. I guess that explains why we didn't notice it when we jumped to the future. When there is time contact between 2020, when the gate was made, and another time, entanglements are created. Time contact? Is that any different from time travel? It's a broader definition of time travel. Even if you don't arrive at that time, even if you just attempt, basically, if someone with the red string's power even touches that time, there is a trace. That is time contact. The only way to actually see which times have entanglements is for the two of you to go and check for yourselves. So I guess the only thing we can do is leave it to Yuito and Kasane. Even if we find the entanglements, we won't know how to unravel them until we see them. The Kronos Terminal is conceptualized by your powers, so you'll know how to unravel them. Not with reason, but with intuition. Also, I'm weak, but I can use the red strings, so I'll support you from here. Okay, so we just need to use the red strings again and enter the Kronos Terminal. I'm going with you this time. You don't know what kind of dangers will be there. Make sure you're ready before you go. If it gets dangerous, you both come right back. Don't worry, we will. Just take care of my mother. Keep her safe. It's all right. Don't worry. 
We will protect Wakana. All right, we don't have much time. Let me know when you're ready. Cool. Where are we heading to down this way? I saw you again after all these years, but we haven't really talked. I get that the situation won't allow it, but. Oh, uh, well, interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it right here. Um, and, you know, this is, man, this is crazy. Um, it'll be a little bit of a short episode today just because um, we had a lot of dialogue to go through and to make up for time, which is fine, which I am pretty happy with. This is pretty cool. Now we have all this time travel stuff. It's, it's really awesome. But, um... Anyway, um, just make sure you guys like and subscribe. It does help me out very much. I will get as many of these out until we finish. But as usual, I'm out, you guys. Peace.